Hello everybody, Civ3 again with another Inscription Casey's mod run. And uh, yeah, let's go through the challenge. Grizzly boss, obviously. We uh, appear during the first three boss battles. And then we go Squirrelfish. Quicker Star does not affect us. One Life does not affect us. And um, I guess we only need 15 points, so might as well go for the scale. I don't need to go for totem battles. You know, a totem battle like Spikes can kill your Mantis God. While the one scale... I mean, who cares? I should create a deck that should one-shot everything anyway. Otherwise, I don't even know how I'm gonna beat this challenge. We start with a flame, that's decent. Let's now also get some cards here. Oh, I forgot, by the way, that we look at the painting, but who cares? I'm not gonna choose based on the painting. Cuckoo and... <laughs> so you say you want a good start. How about this? Man, oh man. I think Cuckoo and Field Mice is the play, and give the Cuckoo to the Mantis God, making it so it blocks in everything and starts attacking all the time. Or Field Mice, like Fecundity on the Mantis God, and then later... Yeah, Fecundity on the Mantis God, and then get another Mantis God, give it Cuckoo. <laughs> this sounds susty. I mean, we're gonna definitely pick these two. There is no question whatsoever in my mind. So let's pick these two. No dot in my mind at all. Okay. Let's go uh, for... First of all, let's go see, see the painting. Okay, we're never gonna do that. Damage, nice. We give two damage to the ringworm. <laughs> yes, it got burned. That's how you burn it, man. That's how you burn it. You, you predict that it's not gonna get the damage. Uh, okay, I definitely need items, but I also need a sack. And I want to transfer the field match on the man's god for sure. So we go this path. And we I'm gonna use item I'm gonna use items after that fight. Actually, we're gonna also see the map. I can use items in the next fight. I don't need to force my item use now. But on the next fight I should use it no matter what happens. Okay, I mean let's play the cuckoo as simple as that. Even if it's uh yeah, we don't care. Go. go. Awesome. Oh no, another bullfuck, who cares? Uh, pass. Oh. Take a hit. This is also gonna block the damage. Classic case of underwater is a joke. Oh, hits us for one. Still gets hit for two. We block, he does not. He gives us flying. That's what a one does. Okay, first of all, I don't want this. What do I sacrifice there? The field mess on the man's god. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> another cuckoo. Yes. Yes, another cuckoo. Okay, I think change of plans. I'm gonna pick the cuckoo for sure. Oh, cockroach, fecundity, cockroach. On the man's... I, I, okay, I, I'm thinking about the following. Fecundity Cuckoo. And then the second Cuckoo. Mantis God Cuckoo. And, th and then combine them. And I get a Fecundity Mantis God Cuckoo. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. I really think that's the play. Although the flying thing plus the Mantis God is not really that much of a good idea. But I really think that is the play. Because I, if I combine them into one, it will be insane. Let's do that. The cockroach, though, with the field mass is always nice. A fecundity cuckoo it is. Fecundity multi-strike cuckoo. Items there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna definitely use all my items. Uh, I would say let's begin with field mass cuckoo. With the, for the blocking potential. Right? I think that's the play. Man, if I don't flame this for damage, I have no idea how I'm gonna beat the final boss. This is not gonna cut it. This is the long run. The, the long con. Let's go to this fight. Okay, I need to use all my items here, otherwise we lose. So, let's use him. I did the same snide in the mistake. Let's 
Let's use this too. Let's use this. Let's go. Up. I don't know if we're gonna win. How we're gonna win, by the way. I really don't know how we're gonna beat the final boss. Like, I, I need actually I need to get two hourglasses <laughs> and a snip. Okay, we, we are about to get some items here. I'm gonna go with one cost. Black goat. Uh, not really useful, but I can get eight bones out of it. And there is another sacrifice there. We might create our monster. Oh shit, that's not gonna help us. That's not gonna help us. I guess, squirrel. I guess, squirrel. That is gonna help us. Shit. I guess, squirrel. Okay, double sack or items. I'm most likely gonna go items into sack, and also this is a better choice. So let's go anyway. Okay, we got the simple cuckoo and a mantis god. I mean, this is a bee, so let's just play the mantis god. This bee is not gonna do anything to us. Oh no, one. Oh, oh, the bullfrog is though. Uh, I guess we do this. I wanna get rid of these. The reason is obvious, right? We need to draw snips and clocks. Snips and clocks. Hit. Here. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Clocks it. Oh no, we got countered. Uh, let's see if we can get something. Oof, we have moose bug. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, uh, how how will I be? Right now, I have a sacrifice coming in and items coming in, right? And uh, I have one snip. If the items I get are a snip or an hourglass, we're winning. But if the items I get are not a snipe, snip or a hourglass, and then I have to do th five damage in one turn somehow. So right now I cannot do five damage because right now I have only one snip. Let's let's assume like the best items we get are like squirrels. If I snip a lane because I only have one scissor right now, I can do up to one damage from this from the cuckoo, the, the lane it's in, and then the mantis god cuckoo will just do one damage sideways. So right now I can do up to two damage in one turn, and then no matter what happens. After my turn, the next Grizzly is gonna come in and pretty much kill my whole board. So I need to be able to do 5 damage one turn. And I already got one of it, right? We got one sideways damage from the Mantis God and one from this Cuckoo. I would like to either get another something that attacks sideways or at least something that has a lot of attack like the Moose Buck. The Moose Buck is also playable with the Goat, but do I want to add a Moose Buck to the deck? It's like so bad. It's not even funny how bad it is. Uh... I don't want to add a moose back to the deck. Let's, re <laughs> Let's re-roll. If I find something with at least two attack, maybe. Mantis. A rat king. This does two attack. This does two damage. This is useless. I mean, with the mantis, I can attack from the left. With the mantis, I can attack from the left to the middle. Let's assume these are the four lanes, right? So I play the Cuckoo here, I play the Mantis Cuckoo here, and I play the normal Mantis here, and then one, two, we do three damage on one spot. Uh, three damage is not enough. With the Rat King, I do two damage with the Rat King, and another one damage with the Mantis God, it's three again. I'm gonna go with the Mantis. And I'm gonna hope... We... Let's hope we get... Um, I mean, with, with three damage, it's doable. If I get to player... Okay, this is already a bad thing. Player one. Player three. Okay, good thing I went with the Mantis. So right now, I can do three damage on one spot. Plus two damage from the players is five. So this is going so... Almost losing. Almost losing. Mantis got Cuckoo. You had to later create the ultimate Mantis Cuckoo. Wait a minute. Now that I got the Mantis... Should I maybe transfer the Cuckoo... Now nah, let's make it a Mantis God Cuckoo. What are we even talking about here? Cuckoo Mantis God. Good. Okay. Let's go. Is it 
Clashy. Bring fish? Yes, always. I always bring fish. Okay, we got the mounted cuckoo. Mm, yeah, I need to buy time to get my combo ready, and he's just doing one damage. This is this is Fisher tier one, right? So this is gonna be easier than the normal Fisher. So, S. And now Kingfisher is coming in. Take one. Let's see what we can draw. Mantis. Okay, part of the setup. Let's give him the Aqua Squirrel. We're gonna take two damage, but who cares? Nothing's coming in. Boop. Focus away. Yeah, I think the time has come to play the Cuckoo. Uh, let's assume that the Cuckoo is bad and gives us... Um, actually, I would like the Cuckoo to give us... Should I play the Cuckoo right now or should I play the Mantis? I'm, I, I only have to think about how I'm going to win this, right? And the way I'm going to win this is the other Cuckoo here. The Mantis got Cuckoo here. The Mantis here. Mantis hits this. Mantis got Cuckoo hits this. And the last Cuckoo hits this. Everything hits this spot. This spot takes 3 damage. And 2 damage from the pliers is 5 plus a snip. So I can just play the Mantis God. Which does not have the inherent risk of the Cuckoo. And the next turn he's going to try to hook. And I'm going to give him Squirrel here. And it's, it's going to hook away. So let's go with the Mantis on this spot. Actually give it on this spot. Uh, no, no, no. I want it here because I wanted to buy time. Us. By time, so we do two and take one. This aqua squirrel is gonna go underwater, I hope. Thank you. Give him another answer, uh, squirrel one over there, right? How many cards do I have? I want only one. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm transitioning over to the win. I have to transition to the win scenario. Yep, put that away. Take this. Play the Mantis God, so next turn we begin the win. We ascend off to the winning. So now we're doing 3 damage to return. Actually, we're doing 4. He's doing 0. He's about to hook, but this hook is never gonna happen. Did I make a mistake? No, I did not do a mistake. I just draw this. I play it in case the hook happens, which it won't. The next turn we draw the Cuckoo from the deck, play it and win. Okay, whew. we survived the dangerous part. With luck, obviously. Go here, and we snip this. That's the three damage setup. Four. Five. And we win. Let's go. Not missing anything. Well, one, two, three. Very nice. Oh, this was the worst possible scenario, by the way, with the items, etc., etc. Is he gonna stay with the red eyes forever? Is that the bug that's happening? I guess it is. Gek question mark. Okay, I'm not gonna pick this up right now. <laughs> because I need to have something that with just a snip we win. So I either go with Uroboros or Strange Larva. There is no in between. And I think I should go with Strange Larva. Uh, I think I should go with Uroboros. Mm, let's think about this for a moment. I can give Uroboros or the Strange Larva for that matter the double attack. Is that helpful? If Robors becomes an 8-8, I have fecundity, which means I can easily kill Robors off and then play him again. I have a fecundity unit in the deck. And the good thing is I can even definitely buy time for myself with Robors. I think Robors is the play. I think Robors is the play. I know people want to see the question mark, but forget it. Not in this challenge mode. Uh, I think Roboros is the play. Although, to be honest, Strange Larva is an insta-win with just a snip. But the same goes with Roboros. And I can definitely find a fight where I can farm up Roboros for a moment. Because I have a very small deck right now. So, I guess we go with Roboros carry us. Yeah, let's go with Roboros carry us. Of course you got this, man. Yes. Beauty. Yeah, there is a sacrifice sigil there. I could try to avoid getting something. The flame. Yeah, we're going flame. And try to avoid getting something. That's the play. Bones is easy to avoid. If you are lucky. No bones. Uh, we have two flyers. 
And then we also have two... Now we have two insects. Yeah, no, this is happening. Uh, life! Yeah, life. Life is an insta loss. I don't even know why I'm thinking about this. Lose, lose, lose. Ding, 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 ding. Let's go. Flame. Damage, please, 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 please. If it's damage, we're flying. We're, we're, we're dancing. Boo. Uh, Mantis God is going to get transferred to Roboros. And we're... Who cares about Ringworm? This is for Kanda. You know what? I'm gonna flame this Cuckoo. Because if this gets like a million life, and I have like five of them in the board, I don't even need to do anything. Let's let's flame this thing. Let's flame this thing. Normally it should not get hit, but uh, I'm flaming that because the rest don't really need flame. Okay. The cuckoo's here, so we should be already winning. I mean, if this was a mantis, did we lose on the spot? No, it would, we would take four damage and we would be doing three. Not a mantis, by the way. Um, I meant, uh, what is it called? A uh, what's it called? A thingamaj- <laughs> I don't remember what's called. Ringworm? Can I buy myself some time to win? Yeah, I think I can. Hmm... You can also just try to draw a, a, a cuckoo, right? Now let's buy myself time to win and be done with this. Nope. Easy solutions. Da -da 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 -da. Who cares about big brain plays? Yeah, you can play a million coyotes. It's over. I have one. This tactical master play. Yep, let's go here. This is bad though, but whatever. We're gonna go with canines as we always do. Birds. Imagine getting a cuckoo out of a bird. I'm not gonna go birds. Forget it. Insects is always good though. Mantis, mantis, mantis. No. Try to get canines. An alpha is not always good, but it's decent. It's going to flame. The previous fight was definitely a fight I could have just stalled out. I, I think the previous fight was a very good chance to... I can also transfer the Roboro... No, I cannot transfer the Roboro since something useful. Okay, I need items. And I also want to combine the Cuckoos. I think combining the Cuckoos takes precedence, making them a 2-6. Multi attack and whatnot. Uh, Uroboros is here. I think this is a good chance to start farming him up. So we play the Black Goat into a Cuckoo pretty much. The Cuckoo's gonna die though. This is gonna stay blocked in. What? I can block in the mall. I cannot block in the proc one though. No, I think I wanna play Uroboros first of all. And then kill him off right away. Hmm, should I even kill him off right away? I don't even know if I should kill him off right away. Draw a card. Draw a squirrel. Play the cuckoo here. Starts doing damage. And then train another squirrel. Play the Roboros. Farm him up a bit more. Yeah, let's start the farming of Roboros. I know he's gonna die here, but this is... I, I on purpose put him on the spot. Just need to kill this Procrimin, by the way. The mole... I can't do anything. Okay. Draw this... Pass. Why would I pass? I can play the Cuckoo. There's no reason to pass. This is free damage over here. I could even play it in the middle if I wanted to. There would be no difference. Pass. Stop. Yep, we take one. Move to the left. This will come next turn. Okay, draw a squirrel. I can play a Cuckoo and the Cuckoo will die from the proc horn, but the proc horn will get blocked into that spot. And then I can do that loop again and again and again and again and again. So let's do that. Yep, as simple as that. And, uh... Well, to be completely honest... I can... Elk fawn. I think I want to play the Roboros again. Play Roboros again, strike here and here. Actually, play Roboros again and sacrifice it on the spot. Play the Cuckoo here. Everything is blocked in. 
yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go... Wait, is that a good idea, though? I mean, everything is blocked in anyway, so... You're here. Here. And then here, I would say, change of plans. We play it over here. We do one, we take one. This is a soft lock. I want to farm Ouroboros up. Till it becomes a 12-12. Let's continue with the soft lock. Until something appears there and we have to change plans. There is no reason whatsoever right now to do anything. The problem right now with uh, Ouroboros is that I can't really do anything with him. Uh, when I say do anything with him is I don't have an infinite. Okay, let's do the same combo again. Okay, you die. Over there. This. There borrows. Okay, you die. Go over there. We're gonna most likely win in one turn, by the way. Get hit for one. Still have squirrels. So as long as I have squirrels, I'm gonna continue this combo. I really would like the Ouroboros to become a 12-12, by the way. Because if it is a 12-12, it can kill the Grizzly and the backline at the same time. And with Ouroboros alone, I will be able to beat the, the, the challenge. Okay, I think from next from the next loop on, I should stop doing the same thing I'm doing right now. Pass. Okay, now I should go for a win. Otherwise, we might lose. I have two squirrels left. So, I would say we play Ouroboros now to start clearing up the field. This is gonna die, this is gonna die, this is gonna die, and this is gonna come in and do one damage to us, which uh, won't really matter, to be completely honest. And the next turn, we're most likely winning. So, pass here. It's dead. That's dead. We're gonna take a hit. Yep, that goes to the left. I cannot do another Ouroboros sacrifice. I think I can. So, let's do it. Go here. Nice. You go here. I think I got one more turn, by the way. So let's also take that one more turn. Sack, sack. Join. Sack. Go there. Yeah, I got one more turn to get a win, which I will. So I I'm going to take the turn I have. There is no reason to not buff the Ouroboros. When he becomes a 12-12, I don't need to buff him anymore. But right now, I definitely do. Okay, so I'm not sacrificing him again, otherwise we lose. Nine, bub, dead. So now we got the nine, nine. Very nice. Okay, now, we have no items, so we need items. But, we definitely want to combine the Cuckoos to make it an insane card. Or both is slowly become, become more powerful. I could also go for flames, but I think the combination has to happen earlier than later. Also, um... There is no also, actually. Yeah, let's go into this. This is very bad, but it is what it is. Let's get another canine. Darewolf, really bad. Uh, it's a good sacrifice outlet, though. It's a good... Items, nice, nice. We were a bit lucky there. We got items coming in. Cuckoo, yes. That's a Hruta. Yep. One. Okay. Ah, we got the super cuckoo. Well, let's play it. I mean, I can also play the dark wolf. But the super cuckoo is insta win. <laughs> ah, head off. Head off. Yeah, we get the card, and then we also get the sigil. Nice. And I think we're going for flyers anyway. Ooh, so bad. Uh, I could pick up a corpse maggots. Give it to the direwolf. Kingfisher is useless. Yeah, like, these are the only two cards I care about. Alpha has to go. Direwolf has to go. These have to go. Man, we have so many bad cards. This is insane. It's insane how many bad cards we have. I'm gonna pick up the corpse maggots. Let's get three items out of this. Yes, clog is insane. It's the win. <laughs> All of these are bad. Let's go for the ply. Do I need the pliers? Should I go for the boulder? 
I'll take the pliers. This is useless. Okay, the clock's gonna win this for us, obviously. There is no in between. I have no head. I have a head, right? Is this not... I thought I had a... What? I have no head. Okay. Um... I guess we get the canine head. Is this not a salamander? This is a flyer. Well, this is trash. And uh, canine head is the only thing useful here, so... Although I'm not really a canine deck, but... That other thing is definitely trash. Roboros carry us. Tier 2. Okay, good thing. <laughs> gold. You've struck gold. Is he gonna goldify my cards at the end of this, by the way? Because if he is, that's not... Oh, we got a really bad hand. We got a really, 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 really bad hand. I can throw the ringworm in the bin. It's gonna kill the coyote. I guess I wanna kill the coyote, right? Let's do that. Us. The mold is coming in, that's good for us. I can manipulate it to do some damage. The super cuckoo is here. We're obviously not gonna play it yet. Oop. Mole's here, wolf's coming. I really wanna draw, you know what? The god himself. Uh, I'm not gonna play the cuckoo yet. Play the cuckoo next turn. Okay, if I play this cuckoo, I win on the spot because it's a flyer. Ah, Ruberos is here. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we win, right? With the clock alone, we are winning. So just play the cuckoo. <sighs> Let's see if it gets goldified. And if it does, we play Squirrel into Black Goat, into Roboros, into Clock, and we win. Yeah, that's it pretty much. I can even play Roboros right now. Kills the Pack Mule too. But then he's gonna Goldify the Roboros, and then I'm not gonna be able to play the whole combo I just said. The whole chain of events. Actually, is that even true? I'm not sure if it's true, because if I draw the squirrel, I'm gonna use the clock no matter what. Yeah, for, for, forget the pack meal, what am I talking about? Just just play the clock and be done with it. That's out. I wanna see what happens here. Okay. Let's go here. Into this. Into Roboros. I might even be able to not play the clock if I make him a 12-12. If I sacrifice him again right now... Let's assume I sacrifice him again right now. Okay. He becomes a 10-10. Play the Black Goat, play him again. He's a 10-10 still. I have 5 bones. I play the Alpha. I sacrifice him again, he becomes an 11-11. Let me think. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So, sacrifice him one time. 10 10. Play the alpha and play him again. Sacrifice him again. He's an 11 11. Play the black goat. Play him again. Sacrifice him again. He's a 12 12. Play the squirrel. Keep the clock. I'm pretty sure this is correct. And if if I'm miscalculating something, I just, I just have to be sure that I'm gonna not miscalculate at the wrong moment. So, let's go cuckoo. Plus alpha. Wait, I can leave the alpha last. I can give him the buff with the alpha. He's a 10 10 right now. Play him right now. Sack him again. He's a 12 12. 11 11. Nice. Play the alpha. Do this. Sacrifice him again. Okay, do this. Play him. Play him. And win. And we won. Easy. Uh, we were lucky that we have the boulder, but in reality we're not lucky because I could have just played this. So, uh, let's go. Bum, everything's dead. Bum, everything's dead. Uroboros doesn't die, who would have thought? And um, yeah, we win. I'm not even gonna risk the cuckoo because... Actually, why not risk the cuckoo? Who cares? Oop, dead. You're dead, man. It's over. 
Easy. Now we got the 12 12 Ouroboros. Now we're gonna beat all the fights like this the same method you just saw. So 12 12, everything dies, everything dies, and we win. And now I have the clock, so I have the free win. Chart 13, blah 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 blah. Gek is the choice. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely gonna pick up a pack ride on child. Who cares? Let's go with Gek. Okay. We can get rid of the ringworm or the black goat there. And also, actually, the black goat because I want to have an alpha already. I need to combine. I might get something good out of this. I don't care about this. I don't really need items. I already have some. I want to get rid of the players before the final boss and maybe get some other items. But the clock alone is so powerful that we are so safe here. The wolf pup. First of all, I think I should transfer the dire wolf on the Gek. Or the corpse maggots on the dire wolf. Because if I'm gonna give the corpse maggots to something, I wouldn't give it to the dire wolf pup. Might as well give it to the dire wolf right away, right? Uh... Mantis. I could also give the Dire Wolf buff to the Mantis. These are so bad cards. I mean, Mantis is good. Mantis is good. I think I'm just gonna pick up the Mantis. Right? I don't even know, man. I, I, I really don't know. Maybe I should reroll to find a, a Cuckoo. Yeah, this is such a risk. Pick up the Mantis. Does some damage. I don't know. It's such a bad... Uh, other side. Risk. A double strike on canines. And this is a canine, this is a canine. That's it. Well, with double strike on canines, I should transfer the corpse maggot onto the dire wolf, and it's becoming insane, like, instantly. And uh, I also would like to get what... Let's get the double strike on the canines. And now I'm definitely gonna try to do the transfer. Let's go here. It's a fight. Who would have thought? Thunk. Thunk. Insta Cuckoo win. Yeah, I don't even need to do anything here. Let's just take the win and be done with it. That's why we have this card. Da, 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 da. Bye. Ah. Man, I'm I'm playing so much more thoughtful right now. I'm trying to be sure I'm not gonna make a mistake. Okay, everything's trash here for sure. Yeah, everything's trash here too. Mm, I guess we go with Turkey Vulture because I'm gonna throw the Black Goat into the Sacrifice, so this is like a unit I can at least play. There's a combination coming up there, and there is a Flame also coming up. Throw the Black Goat out, I don't really need it. Okay. Let's go to this fight and see what we're gonna do. Dire Wolf. Is here. Can't play it though. Wah, what a bad hand. What is this fight? What is this fight? We're gonna die, man. I mean, I can play Squirrel into Gek into Dire Wolf. <laughs> it's something. It's something. And then the Dire Wolf does 2 2 2. Actually, it does. Yeah, it does 2 2 2 2. I think. I've been told that when you have the Sigil plus the Sigil, then it, it it's a Mantis God pretty much. So it's gonna attack 1 2 3. Huh. We're gonna die. Actually, the Moosebug is gonna push the Mole Man to the left, so we're not gonna die. So, I would say we play the Gek now to get at least one damage out of this. And then we play the Aqua Squirrel, and we pass here. I should have played the Gek on the right. I should have played the Gek on the right. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I should have played the Gek on the right. That was a big mistake. Reason being is because it would become a Corpse Maggot for free. How much damage are we about to take? Nothing. A Mole is coming in. Perfect. You could not have asked for something better than a mole trying to come in. And the elk fawn. Did we die? Oh, okay. I mean, the elk fawn's dead, but the elk's gonna come in. I can definitely play the corpse mag by hand if need be, so let's draw something. Mantis. Hmm. 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 Let's think, let's think how I could manipulate the mole to come here. I cannot, because the Dire Wolf will attack on the right as its final attack. And it's also gonna die, and it's also gonna die. 
would be nice if it attacked twice in the middle. Instead of attacking left and right. So let's assume I play the Corpse Maggots here. Actually, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Play the Corpse Maggots here. Corpse Maggots kills the Elkhorn. This attacks left, the Mole will block. And we attack here and then it kills the Mole Man on the right. And I will lose a Dire Wolf next turn. But it is what it is. Well... With that idea, should I not play the mat? No, I need to play the Corpse Maggots because the Elk Pawn has to die. Does it have to die? I can also play the Mantis over here and kill it with this tactic. That's not helping. I got all. Kills, damages. Yeah, the Elk has not... The Elk... Uh, the Elk has definitely not come in. I can still survive with the clock. Let's go Crypts Maggots. We're gonna survive this turn for sure. So let's make sure this dies, this hits the mole, then attacks this for two and then kills the mole man. Yeah, that's what is going to happen, literally. Yep, exactly. Now this is dead. Now this is about to die. The elk is still not gonna come in, so we're still safe. Let's draw a real card. Maybe I can draw one of my infinites. I draw Roboros. But I can't play him. Can I take three damage? No. I was thinking about taking 3 damage by, you know, paying the Mantis here to avoid the hit. Okay, let's think how this will go. Sacrifice the Mantis. Use the Mantis here. I'm trying to retain my thing here. Play the Mantis there, we die on the spot. I have to block here. Well, the moment I play this, we win, right? So... What shall I do? Like, next turn, play the scroll? Like, next turn, draw from the deck. Get the scroll. And then what? Like, if I draw a scroll from the deck, I... Next turn, I can't do anything with it. Like, I can play the Mantis all right, but... I'm still losing. Like, next turn, this is gonna move to the right. And we're still at the same exact moment we are right now. Man, the, the moles. The moles are always killing us. Anyway, let's get the free turn. I, I don't see any out of this. If, if I had two more life, I would take the three damage and just be done with it. Like, transfer the mats over there and win. I think I'm forced to do this now. I don't see any out. So, let's just do this. I can do this next turn too, right? Is there any difference if I do the next turn? No. I'm not gonna draw from the deck no matter what. Yeah, because this is gonna die. Yeah, I have to do this. It is what it is. Hmm... Uh, let's start killing them all. Bop. Bop. Yeah, you pass. I know. I'm disappointed we lost the clock, but it is what it is. It happens. Money. Um, do I have anything to combine? Not really. Same. Yes, yes. Can I avoid getting anything? I guess blood. Damages. Uroboros gonna carry this through. Yeah, blood. Blood is the lowest chance here. It's done. We got a card. <laughs> Raven Egg. That I like this. I like this. This is a good card. It's a 4 damage Raven Egg. It's decent. I can make it even more powerful. Can I get damage flame, please? Thank you. Thank you. Let's go with the Cuckoo, make it a 4-6. Making this a 4-6 is actually important because uh, I can play it on all the ma on the on all the tiles and it's uh, not gonna die. So if I have four, if, imagine having four of these on the board and then the Grizzlies come in, we're gonna be like, yeah, who cares? <laughs> join us. Join us in the end of this. Oh, flippy spinny. Can we stop getting bad cards? Alpha is here. Mm, I like the alpha. Let's do like this. Do this. And do this. Until we win. One, two, three, four, five, six. Din, 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 din. This, this, the, the totem is helping us. Okay, I'm forced to go for items. Forced. Completely forced. And I also am avoiding this anyway. So let's, uh, let's go for the forced items here. I should have used the pliers though. 
But it is what it is, once again. As always, it always is what it is. I would say health. Health. Maybe damage. Blood cost. One, two, one, two, three. But I have some bone costs and a zero cost. Yeah, blood cost is the easiest, man. I know we have three costs and two costs in the deck, but I also have zero costs. This, for example, is yeah, we got it. <laughs> we got the not go to not get a card. And here we're gonna get the, four the items, obviously. Yes, we got a snip. Insane. Mm, should I go for this for the same reason we went for it in the beginning? Just black goat. I don't just black goat. With a black goat, I can do a turn one Uroboros if it's in my starting hand and just win right on the spot. Okay, we're gonna go with Raven Egg. Holy shit, this is so bad. Let's go with the Raven Egg. We're gonna lose. The deck is too big. The deck is too big, man. How this will go. Did I draw Roboros in the starting hat? No. Will I need to take in a million hours here to win? Yep. <laughs> this will take a while. I guess Mantis over here starts macaroning this guy. First Maggot in the middle. Fights with the Strange Frog. It's gonna lose the fight though. And Raven Egg on the left. It's gonna win the fight. Uh, then Maggot's on the left. Wins this fight. Raven Egg here. Mantis got on the right. Yeah, I think I should start with a Raven Egg. Um... Actually, should I? I don't think I should. It's a, the, the Raven Egg is just gonna plop in the middle and then it's already gonna do its thing. So, I would say Corpse Maggot's on the left. Start that fight over there. Do I even need to do that? I just want to have one spot that I'm attacking. I don't need, I don't need anything that this mechanic normally does, that this uh, fight normally has. We don't care. I just want to stabilize. Like, play Raven Egg and the Mantis here. I'm gonna be doing 3 damage per turn and I'm gonna be taking 2 damage per turn. That's what I really want to do. So, I would say let's do that. Like, play the Corpse Maggot, play the Raven Egg, play... No, 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 no. Play the Corpse Maggot and the Mantis here. Both of them attack this line. And then when this dies, we play the Raven Egg on its spot. And we should slowly start coming back. So... Yeah, let's just do that. Or I could even do two damage per turn with the Corpse Maggot. So if I play the Raven Egg, it starts right away with its thing. And then the Corpse Maggot... Yeah, 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 this is gonna happen so much faster. Uh, let's go for the fastest possible strat of stabilizing. Which is this. <laughs> Which is actually this. So, pass. We take two. The Bullfrog coming in in a spot we don't care about. Okay, we're about to su su supposedly lose here. I'm gonna draw this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And now I'm gonna do this. I don't need this for the next fight. Pass. Yeah, the Raven's dead. Nice Corpse Maggot joins. And now we're at one life. And now we pretty much have locked in the board. So we're doing two, we're taking two until we draw the Ouroboros and whatnot. So we just pass here. The Wolf's coming in. Not really that bad. I still need some time to draw the Ouroboros. I can play the Wolf Pelt in its place. I have a bunch of things to do. Okay, that's also not useful. <laughs> uh, I can't sack the mass. Do I want to sack the mats for this? Not really, no. No, I don't. Uh, I'm gonna play Vulture here. We still got time. We still easily got time. I theoretically kill all of them. Mats is also gonna die, though. We're gonna die if I do that. Uh... Yeah, I still have the pelt. We got time. We got time. Play the Tulku Vulture here. And then sacrifice it next turn or something. Yeah, I might do something like that if I draw another sacrifice. So, let's pass. We still do two. We still take two. This is not something we are afraid of. Tulku is here. This is a win, pretty much. At this point, we got con complete control of the match. Um, yeah, I mean, literally... Just win. Cuckoo plus Turkey Vulture or just two Cuckoos is an insta win. So, 
begin the winning strat? Play the Tulki Vulture, pay the Cuckoo. Cuckoo kills, Cuckoo kills, Cuckoo does 4 damage, plus the Mantis does 1, then we take 3. The next turn, Cuckoo kills, Cuckoo kills and dies. And then um, the Wolf should be dead. Well, let's do that. So we play the Tulki Vulture, we go with the Cuckoo. Cuckoo will clear the board for sure. Actually, I can play a second Cuckoo over there. No, it's it's gonna bring the Bullfrog in, so we're about to do a bunch of damage, let's go. Dead. 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 Not dead, actually. We do four. We take three. An adder is coming in. We don't really care about the adder. We just play cuckoos from here on out. Okay, this cuckoo is about to die. This wolf is about to die. We can take a hit. But I don't want to take a hit. I want to... If I play, if I transfer the cuckoo over here, it's not gonna die. And it's gonna kill the leaping frag and the adder and the leaping other trap. It's gonna kill the mantis, but it's also gonna kill the bullfrog. Yeah, and then I can play another cuckoo next turn, and then I can play another cuckoo next turn and most likely win. Let's do this. I know that this mantis is dead, but this wolf is not gonna do anything to us anyway, so we don't care about that. So we pass. Can I save this Mantis? Not really, no. Yeah, I can't. And I also don't care about not being able to save it. Up. Now we do 4 to opponent. Mantis dead. Backland dies too. Nice. We take 3 on the Cuckoo, which doesn't matter. Okay. Now we go with Aqua Squirrel. Into... Cuckoo. Into Aqua Squirrel, into Cuckoo, into we win. Up, not dies. Up, 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 up. Still won. Very nice. Here I'm gonna use all the items needed, but only the items needed, which might be none. I think it's none. This pot here takes 4 and 4 and 4, and then this pot takes another 4 and 4 and 4, so this is dead, and then he takes 4. Yeah, nice, we keep the sip, the snip. Uh, I think I also want to keep the black goat just for an insta opening. Do I? Do I really? I think I don't. I think I should throw the black goat away. Let's throw the... <laughs> I think I have to throw the black goat. Let's throw it away. Let's win. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, boop, 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 done. And all my units are still alive, by the way. I would lost. I would have lost like one cuckoo. This is insane. Easily beating that. Easily beating everything. I was anxious at the beginning, but now I'm good. Let's go with the larva. Did it have the question mark? I never saw. Did it have a question mark? No, it's an almost strange larva. Okay, here we go for items, obviously. Because this is the most forced items there has ever been itemed. We're about to beat this, by the way. Players are good squirrels. We're gonna go squirrel. Yet. We got a bad hand, but... but what am I talking about? This We won. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. The end is upon us. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We win. What do you mean? Easy enough. Easy win. His eyes are still bugged out. He's not gonna play... Grizzlies here, right? <laughs> we do robots right away. Let's win. Let's get the easy win. There is no reason to risk anything. One. This version of Insta win. we we'll also do another version of Insta win. Don't wanna do that. Well, if need be, we're gonna do it anyway. Let's go here. We're gonna go robots. Guess what? We won. 12 and another 12 when you die. Haboom, haboom, dead. Da, 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 da. Easy win. Is there a phase two here with too quick, too fast? No, right? Oh, it's a joke. He didn't even play the thing. He didn't even play the damn thing, man. He did not even play the damn thing. Uh, pass. Boop, boop. Easy. The damn thing, by the way, being uh, the Grizzlies. But uh, they said that the this is gonna only happen in the first two boss. Why, though? Could have been on this boss, too. Like, who cares? Okay. 
You give me this too. By the way, you cannot snip the moon. <laughs> Can you snip the moon? No. No. It's gonna win. That's it. Pass. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> Raven Neg appeared. No, the Ouroboros is not going to do as much damage as it could have. <laughs> we lost 12 damage and we got four, 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 ah. we got 8 damage and lost 12. Easy win. Victory. Yeah, last entry, whatnot. And we beat the game. So tomorrow I'm going to do this thing. Are you ready for this for tomorrow? Yeah, this is not going to be as easy as the rest. But uh, yeah, we beat the game, right? Devlogs, yeah, everything's done. So now I'm going to do challenge. First of all, yeah, I was thinking about doing all the challenges. Then I'm going to do the ultimate challenge, which is instead of drafting cards in the, in the beginning, you start with an opossum and another wingworm. That's done by surrendering instantly. Like you start the run, the surrender the run the spot. Then my deck, my first five cards are going to be Mantis God, Ringworm, 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 and Opossum. Imagine. That's going to be my last run. And uh, yeah, after that, we're most likely going to go back to mods. Are you guys excited about mods? This is going to be tomorrow's run. And then the day after that, I'm going to most likely do this plus even more. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, though. So um, if you enjoyed it, drop a like. Helps out the channel and also will make the algorithm know what you want to see. And uh, yeah, I think uh, that's it pretty much. So I hope you guys are excited about tomorrow. Once again, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.